little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So today, uh, I wanted to talk about something um, that's kind of, it's not something that happens often to me, but it was something I really just wanted to discuss. So I have this app called iFunny, and what it is, it's, it's basically like a place where you can just scroll through memes, or some people even post like news, be it fake, real, whatever, and you know, sometimes you know, you just post whatever the hell you want, whatever you think is funny, or whatever you think is worth posting about. There was one day, um, something got posted back in May 17th of 2020, something, well, not posted, but something got featured, and I commented on it. But first, I wanted to talk about the post itself, so I'm gonna play it for you guys, just so you kind of have an idea of what's going on, and then once the audio is done, I will explain to you what it is. Understood the logic behind this commercial. She knows it's a fortune teller. She walks in. Do you want me to tell you your future? Look what she says. No thanks. I choose my own destiny. What? Hi, can I take your order? No thanks. I cook my own dinner. Go get shampooed, I'll be with you in five minutes. No thanks. I cut my own hair. Is this... He made an appointment. So I'm gonna prescribe you with 20 milligrams of... No thanks. I self-medicate. Okay, so basically what it is, it's it's a commercial with Britney Spears. I'm assuming it's maybe like a perfume commercial or something. And she walks into this fortune teller and the fortune teller says, do you want me to tell you your future? And she says, no thanks, I write my own destiny. And then the guy's kind of making fun of that. Like, well, you walk into a fortune teller to get your fortune read. So why would you walk in just to tell them, oh, no, I'm not going to take your fortune because I write my own future. So he's doing things like the, the uh, there was a Red Lobster one where he's like, may I take your order? And then there was the hairdresser one. And then there was a doctor one. So I wrote the comment. That was pretty funny. Good job, bro. And it was a pretty like tamed comments some people do like cringe comments some people do like clickbait some people do you know whatever you just comment whatever you feel like commenting you know this comment was pretty tame it wasn't anything special i next thing i know because on this particular day i think we were either celebrating my mom's birthday or we were getting ready for something and all of a sudden my phone just starts blowing up with iFunny notifications and i was like well, what the hell's going on well it turns out people were liking my comment like a lot and I was like oh that's pretty cool like I never thought I'd end up getting like this kind of popularity if if that makes any sense over the course of time I mean the the likes have thankfully stopped but over the course of time the comment got 1,000 likes and that like made my jaw drop during that time I was just still scrolling through through iFunny and again I got to another post and I believe this one's also a video. Let me see here. What's going on, Sip Nation? Today we are going to be playing some Roblox you already know. But first, our sponsor for today is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile RPG that you can play with your friends on. And you can basically just... Family's dead. My mom's dead. My brother's dead. My dad's dead. Grandma's been dead. Whoa. Everyone's Whoa. Oh, dead. Please. Family's dead. All right, guys, now that the sponsor's done, let's play some freaking Roblox. Let's get into this. Wait, one of my favorite what games has been for a while. I played this when I was uh, One time we even had to go. So my house burnt down. Unfortunately, I don't have house insurance. This is going to weigh a lot on my family, especially my mom. I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> Where'd my legs go? Where did my legs go? They're just gone. I look down one second and it's not there. Okay, so that video is this guy is watching a YouTube video and I can relate to this so much. You're watching a YouTube video and then the guy, the, the person or whoever, you know, has the sponsor. So you're like, okay, well, let's just kind of skip through this. Except what he did was he used his mouse to click through. I usually hit the forward button on my, um, like the right arrow on my keyboard just like a few seconds in and then we're good to go. But there have been times when I have actually clicked ahead and then something really insane happens. So I have to go back and then, so anyways, I, I totally related. So I commented, honestly, yeah. I literally just commented, honestly, comma, yeah. It got 655 likes. And this happened the day after I had commented on the other 
post. And this has only ever happened two other times where I've gotten a little over 200 likes. This one got a over, little over 600. But it, it was still insane. I mean, I had never gotten that many likes before. I had never actually gotten that much attention before on iFunny, even when I posted my own stuff. And I thought it was just incredible. And, I, and you know, at the same time, while I was getting likes on that one, I was still getting likes on the Britney Spears one. And so my phone was just blowing up left and right. And I'm like, should I turn off notifications just until this dies down? But then I was like, when is this going to die down? So I just kind of let it go. And I think it went on for at least a week for both comments. And I was at top comment for a little bit, which was pretty cool. I liked that. I liked that a lot. But, you know, just because, you know, you get top comment doesn't mean you're going to get, like, a bunch of people, like, you know, following your, your channel or your, uh, your profile. That's just not how it works. It works if you post good content. That's how it works. But anyways, that is just all I wanted to talk about for today. I just want to kind of share my experience on that and how mind-boggling it was when it actually happened. So I thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.